work on a 20 minute uh, abs and back workout. Anytime you work those um, abdominals, you want to work the opposing muscle group, which is your um, back muscles. Um, just uh, real quick, it's going to be 20 minutes. I have my timer here to keep me um, to keep me accountable to it. You don't need any equipment except your own body. Um, I have a yoga or Pilates mat. If you have one, that would be great. I have a really hard floor here. You can also use a towel or a blanket or double those up if that's not enough um, cushioning. Okay, let me start my timer and let's get going. We're going to start by laying flat on our backs. We're going to roll down. Carefully, we're going to pull the belly button in, keep the knees pointed to the ceiling. You're going to take hands behind the head. You don't want to grab and jerk yourself up, so you really just want your fingertips touching the back of your head, and you really only just need to lift your shoulders up off the mat. See how my shoulders are up off the mat? Keep the arms wide, and then back down. Okay, we're going to go to up two, down two. Here we go. Lift, lift, lower, lower. Up, up, down, down. This is three. Make sure you breathe. Four. It'll start out easy and then get harder. Five. Six. Breathe. Seven. Eight. All right, we're going to change the tempo and go a little quicker. Up and down. Seven. Six. Five. Good job. Four, three, two, one. Now lift and pulse. You can either hold here or reach the hands out front. Two, one. Let's do eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Back to singles. Up. We're going back down that ladder. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Back to two and two. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up. Lift, lift. We're going to do four more to make it even. Up, three to go. Make sure you're not jerking that head. You can also cross. The shoulders, if you're worried about yanking the head up, one more. Lift, lift, lower, lower. Good job. All right, arms overhead. You're going to straighten the legs. Point the toes. Okay, now I want to move on to working the lower abdominals. So we're going to keep the legs straight, and we're going to take our left foot over the right foot. Okay? And same thing, hands behind the head, and we're going to do a similar move, lifting the shoulders up. Now make sure you're not pushing your, your uh, pelvis forward and arching your back. You still want to keep your back flat. Pull the belly button into your spine if that helps you. Up, up, down, down. Up, breathe. Three. Four. Really just keeping those fingertips there. And eight. All right, singles, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, and one. Let's switch to the other side. We're not gonna do pulses on this one, and we're gonna go, same thing, two by two and singles. Here we go. Up, up, down, down. Three, breathe. Four down, four to go. Up. One more. Singles here. Eight. Seven. Keep those shoulders up. Belly button in. Breathe. Four to go. Four. Three. Two. And one. Great work. We're going to release. Take arms overhead. Stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Good. All right. We're going to keep the legs low. 
Um, I try not to use equipment, so those of you who don't have equipment aren't disadvantaged, but if you have a step bench and you'd like to lay on the bench to do this next exercise, we're going to lift the legs up. That's totally fine. For the rest of you, you can stay on the mat or the floor with me. So, keeping the body nice and flat, we're going to try and imagine that we're pulling the belly button in tightly to the spine, and hands at your sides, you're going to lift, keeping the legs together, lift your legs up. And you can add a reverse crunch, right, by adding um, the lower half here. I just want to um, focus on the lower half. I'm not going to add a crunch, but if you want to, you can. And down. So we'll do doubles, singles, and then some flutter kicks. Here we go. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up. Let's go singles for eight. Eight. Point the toes when you come down. Breathe. Four more. Three. Two. One. All right, then we're going to hold it here and we're just going to flutter kick. Pull the abs in. Three. Four. Three. Two. One. Release. Relax. We're gonna go and do one more round, just like that. The doubles, the singles, and the flutter kicks. Are you ready? Pull the abs in. All right, here we go, doubles. One, and down. Two, and down. Three, and down. One more, four. Give me eight singles here. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. All right, let's flutter kick. Eight, seven, six, pull the abs in. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Arms overhead, point the toes, fingers overhead, inhale, and exhale. Great work. We're going to move to the side of, of the abdominals. These are the obliques. I'm just checking my time here. We're doing great. Okay, so we're going to bend the knees. We're going to take left leg ankle to the opposite knee. And then you're going to take the same knee that is bent and crossed. You're going to take that same um, arm and you're going to take the arm behind your head. So this elbow is matching up with, um, with this leg. Wait, do I have that right? No, I think I have that wrong. We want the elbow that's on the ground to match the opposite knee. So I'm going to take my right ankle to my left knee and then take my left elbow to try and meet that opposite knee. There we go. So we're going to come and try and cross the elbow to the knee. We're going to do the same pattern. Up for two, down for two singles and pulses, and then we'll switch. One, two, down, two, 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 good. Lift, try to reach that elbow to that knee. This is four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, now singles, eight, seven, Try not to jerk the head, right? If you can't remember, just keep the fingers off. Four, three, pull the abs in tight. Two, and one. Now we're just gonna reach and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Give me eight more. Back down that ladder and then we'll switch. Four, three, two, now singles, eight, seven, six, five, you're doing great, four, keep it going, two, now doubles, two and two, up, up, down, down, up, up, good, this is three, four to go, this is five, Seven and eight. Excellent. 
Now we're going to switch. So we're going to take the right ankle off of the left knee. We're going to take the left ankle and place it on the right knee. And now I'm going to take my right arm behind my head and my left leg or my left arm either out to the side or um, to my right near my near my hips. And I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to try and take that elbow to the opposite knee. So doubles, then singles, then pulses, and then we'll work down that ladder, pulses, singles, and doubles. Here we go. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Three, breathe. Four, five, six, seven, doing great, eight. Now singles, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now pulse, reach, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. We're going to work down that ladder. Six, five, four, three, two, back to singles. Eight, release. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to two by two. Last round. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Make sure you're not jerking that head. Don't yank. Pull the abs in. Breathe. We got four, three, two. Last one. Excellent job, you all. Okay. We're going to take both feet to the floor, knees to the ceiling, and just shake that head out side to side. Great release for that neck. Especially until you get used to really drawing the abdominals down into your back and keeping your back flat and trying to keep those shoulders down. Because if you keep them up, you're going to feel a little bit of tension here. So if you have a little tension down here in the neck, you're just going to have to focus on pulling those abs in even tighter. Okay. So I'd like to get us to roll up. Oh, yeah. And roll down. And one more time. Roll up. I love the way that massages the lower back. So speaking of lower back, we're going to flip over now. And we're going to spend some time working on the back muscles because there are opposing muscles and they need just as much attention as those abs. Probably a little bit more so because oftentimes we get a little bit too um, interested in abs and forget about the back. All right, first I would like for us to isolate and work the lower half. We're going to um, stack hands on top of each other and then just lean to the side here and I'm going to face you so you can see me. You're going to um, flex your toes and point your toes. So we're going to flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point. From here I want to draw our bottom halves up and squeeze. I'm going to have to move up just a tad because I have not very much room. Um, so with that lower half I want you to point the toes and squeeze together, lift, and then lower. So we're just working on the lower half, not the upper part. Lift, squeeze, lower. Lift, squeeze, lower. Lift, squeeze, lower. Let's go a little quicker. Lift and lower. Now try and pull those thighs together, heels together, and squeeze your butt. Squeeze your glutes. Four, three, two, and one. Now pulses. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great work. Now we're going to move to the upper half and we're going to glue those toes to the floor. So you can keep toes pointed. I personally find that if I flex the feet and just place my toes on the ground, that gives me better grip, gives me more control. So we want to balance on that pelvis, keep your face off of your mat, even if it's your own personal mat or towel, right? Keeping the face protected. We're going to balance on the pelvis. We're going to take the fingertips right below the chin. We're going to lift just the top half, not the bottom half. Remember, toes are grounded to the floor. Lift, pull the shoulder blades together, and then release. So two by two singles and pulses. Up, up with a squeeze, and then release for two. Up, up 
release, release, lift, squeeze, release, release, lift, squeeze. We have four more. Three, two, give me one more. Excellent. Singles here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. We're going to take the arms overhead. Now you might find that your abdominals are stronger than your back. That's uh, pretty common because we tend to work those abs a lot more than usual. Your back is stronger than you give it credit for, but we do have to spend more time working on that. Try and get ready and get the back in better shape. So if you're feeling like you're struggling a little bit, you're not alone, I promise. We're going to transition to incorporating both the upper and the lower half into full Superman, Superwoman. So now instead of keeping the bottom half on the floor and isolating, we're going to do both together. We're going to pull the shoulder blades up as we come up, and we're going to also lift the lower half and squeeze the glutes at the same time. So two by two singles and pulses looks like this. Up, up, down, down. Come with me. Up, up, down, down. Up, squeeze. This is four. We have four to go. Three. Breathe. Squeeze it all. Two more. One more. All right. Eight singles. Eight. Seven. You're going to look forward. Pull the abs in. Squeeze it all. Breathe. Four more. Three more. Two more. Lift and pulse right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight more. Back down the ladder. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight singles. Eight, release. Seven, release. Six, five, four. We're getting close. We're almost there. Three, two, one. All right, two by two. Up, up, down, down. You should really be feeling it in the back. It shouldn't hurt, but you'll definitely be able to feel that your back is probably not as strong as you would like for it to be. And if it is, great. But if not, it's okay. We'll get there together. Two more. Up, up, down, down. One more. Up, up, down, down. Excellent. You're going to take the hands overhead, pointing the fingers and toes, tucking the chin down to the chest, giving it an offering to the neck. And then release. We're going to do that T-stretch, hands on either side, and then at our sides. I keep checking my time. We're doing great. We're going to move to swimmers. I use this from Pilates a lot, and I love it because it's really great for whole body strength. We're going to alternate opposite arm, opposite leg, lift, lower, bouncing on that pelvis, and then we're going to make it a fluid motion. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, release. Inhale and exhale. We're going to do it three more times. Same tempo for this next round. Here we go. Opposite arm, opposite leg, and let's flutter. Eight, seven, six. Breathe and squeeze it all. Two, and one. Relax. Excellent job, everyone. We're going to do two more rounds. This time we're going to pick up that pace. Are you ready? Opposite arm, opposite leg. Let's go quicker. Eight, seven, six. I hope you're feeling it. Four, three, two, and one. Great job. I got a surprise for you. This last round, we're going to do 16 count, and it's going to be super fast. Ready? Opposite arm, opposite leg. Let's go. 16, 15, 
15, you can do it. Breathe. 12, come on, 11, 10, nine, come on, we're halfway. Seven, six, five, can you go a little faster? Four, three, two, and one. Awesome, reach, 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 reach. Great work. We're gonna seal stretch. Look up to the ceiling. Come up on those hands and on those hands and knees. I know I'm at my 20 minutes. We're just gonna stretch and we'll be done. We're gonna round out the back, chin to chest, cat stretch, and then relax into cow. Let's do one more for good measure. Round, cat stretch, chin to chest, and then relax. And child's pose, reaching arms forward. You're gonna feel a nice stretch in the back and the hips, shoulders. It's wonderful. And that's it. I hope you all enjoyed it. And um, I will continue to post other videos, different formats. And so you can figure out what works best for you. Thanks.